Hi Taurus, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Taurus, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Taurus. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have the seven of swords in the reverse and this is air energy gemini libra aquarius energy okay so this is an energy of somebody um you know some sort of truth being revealed about someone you're finding out something here or someone is really being honest with you or letting down some sort of a mask um, i'm seeing someone who is finally being honest or vulnerable with you opening up to you and you may be finding out things about this person that they was very much omitted by them or things you previously did not know about this person so you're definitely seeing someone's true colors with this energy here so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Taurus. Okay, so the first card we have is the Queen of Wands. And this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. Next we have the Four of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. And finally we have the King of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. Okay, so I do see here that this person, they, they, they are very much into you. They are very in love with you. They see you as this beautiful queen of wands energy. This person sees you as somebody who is very attractive, very creative. And they like, um, they like your personality. They like your physical appearance. They, like, um, they, they are genuinely um, attracted to you. And with the four of pentacles, they, they do have a desire to have a stability with you. And I do see them feeling the need to be open and honest with you now. And you're starting to see this person's true colors. Um, this person may have presented themselves as having a very hard shell. Or they may have kept a lot to themselves. With the King of Swords, this is somebody who wants to appear logical. Somebody who doesn't want to seem emotional. Or someone who comes across as just unemotional. And um, I do see that they have a lot of emotions. But it's like it's buried. It, it takes a while for this person to open up. And this person is now feeling ready to show you their emotions to be honest about their emotions and um i do see some sort of conversation going down between you and this person where they are expressing the truth of how they're feeling you're finally seeing a more emotional side to this person and um I do see this as their attempt at achieving stability with you. This person is actually very serious about you and they feel like this is not someone who shows their um, vulnerable side um, often and they feel like you are somebody that they can do that with. It's like this person is feeling like they can trust you and that they can um, show you that side of them. So let's clarify these cards Taurus. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have the ace of wands and this is fire energy okay so this person feels very attracted to you they want to start this i do see them being the ones initiating this they're the ones who are letting down their mask they're the ones who are opening up to you they feel like the time is right and um this person is very attracted to you uh with this ace of wands they feel like you're someone very special and um they want to have some sort of passionate beginning with you it's like you bring out the creative side you bring out their more warm side okay so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Taurus 
Okay, so the first card we have is the Hermit. And this is Virgo energy, so you could be dealing with a Virgo. Next, you have the Queen of Wands again, Fire energy. And finally, we have the Nine of Pentacles, Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Okay, so this is somebody who's very used to being independent, hyper-independent or alone or just accomplishing things on their own. They've never really had someone that they could let their guard down with or um, show their vulnerabilities with. But they are seeing you as somebody who's safe enough to do that. This is a, seeing you as a positive person, trustworthy person, and... Um, Someone who inspires them is what I'm seeing. So this person feels called to um, be open with you. And um, I do see them also really admiring you, seeing you as somebody who's got it all together. This person actually in some ways looks up to you. Um, with the King of Swords, this is someone who has very high standards. And they see you as somebody who finally, they're meeting someone who actually meets their standards. So I do see... This person is like, they're, they're, they're seeing their truth. This connection is inspiring them to look within and to see themselves in a different light. And they're really allowed, like, it's like they're letting you into their inner world with this energy and the seven of swords. They're, they're uh, inviting you to see beyond their hard exterior. So this person is really opening up and I do see them, um, you know, letting you in, which is not something that they often do with this king of swords energy okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you taurus So the card says, luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. Okay, so there is something special about you with this Queen of Wands energy. And this is somebody who I'm seeing that they it take, it's very hard to get them to fall for someone. And something about you just really stands out to them. And it's like you're you're the chosen one or you're, you're special to them. And, um, you know, it's very rare that this person can really show that side of themselves and I do see them viewing you as someone that they want to be open with and um, emotionally available and honest and you know it's like they're letting down their hard exterior for you okay so I'm going to pull out another card for you Taurus Okay, so the card says playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to, of fun to shine. Okay, so this person sees you as a very positive energy, very bright energy. Um, something about you inspires them to let their hair down, to let their guard down, to not be so uh, serious or stiff or uptight. They feel like you are just a very much an exciting person and you, you inspire this person is what I'm seeing. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Taurus. Okay, so the card says Primrose, youthful love. If I had a single flower for every time I think of you, I could walk forever in my garden. Okay, so there is something very youthful about this love. This person sees you as creative, fun, and inspiring. And um, I do see that it's like they're recapturing, you know, it's like their love for you is, you know, that, that feeling of love that you get in, when you're youthful. You know, how young people, when they're in love, there's not much they wouldn't do for love. They're, they're open to it. They're not... Um, they're not too strict about it. So they're, they're, they're open, they're available, they're, they allow their emotions to lead them. And this is how this person is feeling in this connection. They feel like it's safe for them to love. It, they feel like there's, you know, it's like you've really 
God in this person's heart is what I'm seeing. This person, there is not much they wouldn't do for you. This person has fallen and they're enjoying this. They, they, they're enjoying the process. And um, I do see you as somebody who really inspires them to um, feel, you know, keep things a bit more lighthearted in love as well. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Taurus. I hope you have a really, really good day, Taurus. Bye, Taurus.